All right. So here we are. Welcome back. It's been a while. Yeah. How long has it been? Almost a year. Maybe a, over a year. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> Just got caught up with you having a baby and then, yeah. mo- and then moving. <laughs> yeah, I got the fuck out of there. Yeah. So how's it been? How's it been over over in Texas now? It's what's not... your perspective on things? Uh it it doesn't feel it doesn't feel oppressive. Like when I was in San Diego, I, I felt like every uh everything I did was fucking like it was so hard to do anything. You yeah. know, like even going to uh well like Gianni's. Like, am I going to get an employee that's going to be a prick or not? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And eventually I figured out on Saturdays, they just let, like, all the teenagers run the restaurant. And so, like, they never said anything. But, you know, like, every little thing, like, I don't want to have to deal with it. I don't have to talk about it. I hated most things and people in that area anyway. I'd been there too long. So, yeah, just yeah. starting fresh, just going somewhere new and, like, not having all those old attachments to everything. And, you know, like... Oh, that street name. Oh, that store. Oh, that person that used to live here. Oh, that. Oh, this. Like, it's just mm. nothing. You're just nothing. You know, you just got to yeah. learn new streets and learn build, new stores. And... Build it all up. Yeah. Yeah. And it's nice. And I knew, I mean, I don't, I don't know this area specifically, but I know parts of Texas enough to like, it would made it easier to acclimate. And I have family all over the place. And of course, my wife and kid are here with me. So, and all the yeah. cats. So <laughs> nice. So that it was, it was a nice adjustment too. I didn't do anything. We didn't do anything for like three or four months. We just like bought furniture for the house and, you know, made sure the baby was like entertained all day. It was, it was nice. Yeah. And there, like I said, you can go, like, no one gives you shit about anything here unless you like go to the hospital. Then there are cunts just like everywhere else. But like, mm-hmm. I don't go to the hospital that often. So that's fine. What is it like over there? Like, um, just as far as, uh, yeah, no restrictions, nothing like what is anything implemented? Like what, what is it really like the hospitals? You have to wear a mask. Uh, that's it. I mean, like I was applying at places and they're like, one place was like, um, if you like, what did they say? Basically, it was almost like a don't ask, don't tell thing. They're like, if you have the vaccine, you don't have to wear a mask, but we're not going to ask you if you have the vaccine. Gotcha. And that was just one place that I had applied for, you know? And yeah. other places didn't address it at all. Most places, like, one of the first things they did when I came here is I had to find an alkaline water place. And on their door, they're like, as of March 15th, you know, I think 2020 or whatever, they're like, masks are optional. And, like, it was a breath of fresh air to not have to worry about it. And no one in there is wearing them and like, if you yeah. go to Target, the employees are mostly wearing them, but, like, a lot of places, they're not, and they don't question it. And, like, no one gives it, no one gives you shit if you aren't, you know? Well, it's really interesting to see the shift, how it's been actually here, because we've been going through waves of enforcing mask mandates, easing up on it, enforcing it again. But um, we just went through another enforced man- mask mandate, whether you're vaccinated or not, makes zero sense to me. But um, that falls in line with everything else. But I've noticed going into stores, they like stores have the the signs on their place and in grocery stores, especially even Target, whatever. Just I know you guys had luck going into the Target when you were here when everything initially went down. But yeah, different grocery stores and things. People are going in without masks, even though there's the mandate, even though there's there's the signage. And it wasn't like that, you know, a year, year and a half ago. People were definitely more up to obeying everything. And I've definitely seen it kind of loosen up. And people are just like some people do wear it. Some those who will will and those who won't are choosing not to now, it seems like. So I've noticed a shift in that, at least. Yeah. I saw that LAUSD got that mandate for the vaccine for the kids stricken back or whatever. Mm. So that's good. 
but yeah. even just like like through through my news feed like shit about newsom pops up and i'm like god damn i'm so glad i don't have to fucking like i used to read it and it would like anger me you know like it sucked and well i mean that's why i took a step back from all of social media and everything and just constantly inundating myself with the news it's like i can't do it anymore because it was just yeah fueling this kind of anger and lashing out to people online for like no (laughs) real reason and just getting in these little arguments and stuff and it's just like what is that really doing and yeah, it just feels much better stepping away from it, honestly. Like, I still, you know, go through my own personal stuff mentally and stuff, but adding the news and the constant information and that kind of stuff was not helping either. So taking a step back and just kind of living instead of being force-fed, like, this narrative, whatever way it is, it's definitely better like i've noticed it's like i've signed on to social media every once in a while every few weeks month month and a half two months i'll go on for a minute two minutes just check some things and be like i'm out and it's like i have no need for that constant you know forced of the news of what's going on and a lot of it isn't even news it's just pop culture you know bs that isn't even won't even be relevant in in the next week or so you know so it's better for me anyway. Yeah. I mean, I miss out on a lot of things that are kind of going on and probably important things, but it's like, I don't know. When have we ever let government really dictate our lives? And it's like, let's just, I'm just going to live my life how I've been living it, you know? And it's like, that's, that's where I'm at right now. Yeah, me too. But it forced me to look at a lot of shit and like make adjustments. So at least there's that. I don't, um, I don't even have, I don't even have like an hourly paying job right now. I'm like venturing into just doing my own thing yeah, and risking all of my own shit. Yeah. Um, but it gave me the, like that push to be like, all right, fuck it. Like, we can stay off social media as much as we want, but if we go to apply someone like, oh, do you have your vaccine card? Like, you know, like that. And like my jobs were on the, like the jobs that I did before what I'm doing now were, were like on that chopping block, you know, mm-hmm. like education and uh, finance, like they're, they're, they're bigger, they're in the public eye and whatever. So that part of it is good, but the new shit is fucking annoying. It's nice. I feel like most people now agree that Biden's a fucking idiot puppet. Yeah. Which is cool. Yeah. Like, I everyone, know, but it's like, everyone why, has turned on him. why wasn't anybody listening to that when we were screaming? When I was getting in these arguments on social media that, that led me to go off, it was those arguments of like, Everybody, you know, just thought, oh, you're for Trump and all this stuff. It's like, no, I don't really care. We were calling him out, too. Um, But everybody Mm -hmm. just had this false narrative of Biden, of being this good guy and stuff. And it's like, now it's all coming out. Like, all the stuff we've been saying for the longest time, like, people are now starting to kind of wake up and see. Some still won't admit it. They're really stubborn. But uh, there has been a lot, a lot more talk about the incompetence i guess yeah i want to like go like people specifically standing at my mind that were being fucking dumb like i posted how uh i posted forever i mean i've been posting it since it started to be a thing like biden being creepy with kids and women you know yeah and then i was posting it of course during the election i was posting it all the time and someone was like um that little kid is his grandson and like it's okay for him to do that to his grandson I'm like, I don't give a, I don't care if it's a relative, if somebody puts their hand around my kid's neck and leans their head back to kiss them, inappropriate, right? Yeah. Maybe fucking yeah. smack. But I want to go to those people and be like, hey, like, what, you fucking put your life on the line trying to get this guy into office. What do you think now? What do you think now exactly. that he's, he went back on everything he was going to do? Exactly. Everything. Like, yeah. I want to fucking shake them and be like, do you fucking admit you were wrong? You know? <laughs> I know. Like, I want to bird box them, like, pull their eyes back. I'm like, do you fucking see it now? Yeah. But that, I guess that's my fucking thing I need to deal with. But good Lord, so stupid. Everyone is so stupid and it's annoying. But it is nice to be, I'm utilizing social media differently. 
I'll go on. Like I'm trying, I'm not trying to fucking reach out to people anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I'll post, what I'll do is I'll post like 10 things that are like what like normies would think is funny or normal or nice and cute and sweet. And then like right in the middle of it, I'll post something kind of ambiguous that yeah. hopefully will plant like a subconscious seed, gotcha. you know, or I'll post a picture of like, like nobody knows, nobody outside of like our community knows who like Hunter Biden is. Mm-hmm. Like if they saw a picture of him, they don't fucking know who he is. So I'll post a picture of him all cracked out looking at like, man, I wonder who's, who his dad is, you know, just mm-hmm. shit like that. And then of course on the no world order podcast, on the no world order Instagram, I'll post whatever. And it's great. Cause it's all people like us that are like, yeah, it's fucking weird. So mm-hmm. gotcha. I'm no longer trying to reach out to people and change people's minds. Cause you can't, they're not, they're not you really can't. To. Yeah. Yeah. They're, but just, it's annoying. Cause I'm like, you guys, like you're standing in your own way. Like you fucking, I know of at least one of my friends who has the fucking vaccine and is like utilizing it to like go do things. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm like, dude, like, and this is a person who's like pretty SJW, pretty like, you know, don't be racist, don't be sexist, be fair, whatever. I'm like, but don't you realize when you do shit like that, you're excluding like what a third of the population that doesn't want to do that or can't do that for their own health reasons. Yeah. Like you're, you're isolating them but you're complaining about other people isolating another group. But uh, yeah, like you said, it doesn't, they don't want to change. They're not going to change. Yeah. I mean, all we can do is just, you know, continue having these types of conversations. And if it gets out there, it gets out there. And if the seed gets planted, it gets planted. But if they're not ready, they're not ready, you know? And that's, that's kind of what, why i stepped back from social media because it was like yeah just having these pointless arguments getting getting blocked from certain like you know artists <laughs> and stuff like that is like okay what is really the purpose of it? like i i enjoyed their music and now it puts this tainted view on things you know what i mean and it's like kind of yeah. did that to myself by just going at it it's like could have just let things be mm-hmm. but no i had to like go at it you know what i mean and and then now it's like okay well that happened so it's just yeah it's like i've just learned to be like having these conversations if you're willing to that's cool and if you're not open to it you're not open to it you know so i will say that's different for me with like famous people like i won't try to change the mind of normal people that don't know anything or whatever like i don't know there's like a post about wrestlemania tickets or something and someone's like oh it's like we're not even in a pandemic anymore and i'm like shut the fuck up right like <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about shut up but i don't yeah. mess with that anymore but if like a celebrity is like you need to get the vaccine because it's safe and effective then i'll call them out because yeah. they're not real I, people I right like they're celebrities they're not real people they don't matter yeah. and like somebody somebody blocked me from when they're a mega celebrity i guess yeah. but like i'm talking about these little not little because they they gain notoriety and stuff they had good fan bases and you know way bigger than you know we could ever really imagine but it's like they're they're not mega stars but i saw them kind of on the grind on the come up and stuff and then they're still projecting this and those are the people where it's like well i really enjoyed your music and now you're now i went at you and now it just has this negative connotation and tainted view on it but um i understand going at these like super like superstar celebrities who are super hypocritical with things I, i definitely understand that like if you pick a random high level celebrity, you can pretty much guess what the last year and a half of their posts have been. Yeah. Right. Like trans rights, Black Lives Matter, I can't breathe, wear your mask, get a vaccine. Right. I guarantee yeah. you. Like yeah. you pick a, yeah. a high level, those five things will be there for oh, the last year and a half. Yeah. Exactly. And most of them will be the same as the ones as the other fucking high level celebrity profile. Oh, Listen. and vote him out. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. Well, see, like, where are those people now? Are they yeah. paying for everyone's extra like taxes on gas and shit? On gas on food you know I mean? on yeah everything. Are they, yeah, insane. right. No, they have their private supply chain. I'm sure while all of our yeah. shit waits in fucking boats off the coast. Yeah, well, not mine. It got rerouted through Texas and Florida, but <laughs> a lot of people's. But, yeah. Uh, so, um, so speaking of like WrestleMania and events and things like yeah. that, I think. Um, uh, was it the NHL? I think is suspending the rest of their games till after Christmas or the holidays, and then uh, it looks like a bunch of NFL teams have been hit with the new variant and COVID, yeah. and 
<laughs> it seems like it's uh, back to where when we first started, when all the sports were shutting down. Do you think it's going to get to that point again, or do you think this will just pass and um, more – more just fear or what do you think uh, it is because it feels like it's back to when it first started and you know when they were shutting everything down i so. don't know see like i'm not really on the my race sports aren't really on my radar so i haven't heard yeah. a lot of that um i i don't know obviously they're going to continue the fear shit but like i don't see like wrestlemania i don't see that stopping not it's not going to happen like they're going to they're going to be in Texas next year. They're going to do it. It's going to be fine. But the organized sports, I feel like they're controlled. And if whoever is above them is like, we need to scare everyone again, shut it all down. Yeah, it could happen for indefinite periods of time. I did read that. What was it? In basketball, Kyrie Irving was like not getting vaccinated. Everyone was on his shit. But now they're asking him to play because all the vaccinated people are fucking sick. Are sick. So, yeah. So that's hilarious. Number one, props to whoever that I don't know who Kyrie Irving is, but that's hilarious. He was the one um, who um a couple years back came out and defended the flat earth and got a bunch of shit too. Oh, okay. So he he knows he's familiar. Yeah, but I think he kind of just does it as um to test test the waters to just kind of like be be controversial, kind of. Who knows what his real morals are, what he really believes in? Because I think he backpedaled on the flat earth thing after like a couple of weeks of just constantly getting hated on. But um, yeah, he, he did that. And then he came out and was not going to be getting vaccinated. And yeah, now they're wanting him to play because all the vaccinated people are getting sick. So that That's makes rad. a lot of sense, right? <laughs> That's so fu it's so funny. Um, I don't know. I've gone back and forth if they're going to do something. There's been a lot of talk of like you know dark winter and Bill Gates was talking about smallpox and then some smallpox stuff turned up in somebody's what well, somebody's house or like lab or some shit. And then of course you, I'm sure you saw that thing about um, from the white from WhiteHouse.gov about how like they'll take care of the vaccinated people because they made the right choice. But for the unvaccinated. We're looking at like a winter of death and you know disease and all no, this. Like it, I didn't it, dude, see it that. was it was a straight up like if you're vaccinated, good job. We'll take care of you. You got a good winter. Yeah. In store. For the unvaccinated, fuck you. You guys are all gonna die. That's the unclean. Like, the it's, yeah. like, it's just it straight up modern day, like segregation and you know right. a lot of a lot of minorities. Are they're the major groups that don't get the vaccine, so it's just straight. It feels like it could mm -hmm. be racist, you know, implications. I hate to do that, but it's like when you do look at some of those things, it is rooted in racist policies and things like that. And it just feels like it is modern day segregation. And we kind of called this from the beginning where it's like they're not forcing it on you, you're not forcing it but they're gonna make it hard to operate and do things and things like that and it, it all just goes back to yeah states and states rights and what they believe in so it, it'll be interesting to see how the next kind of couple years develop and turn out and if people will wake up and get over this and you know eventually vote those people out or if uh fear will take control and drive people away from freedom that like yeah. yeah so we'll see we'll see what happens it'll be interesting it's a, it's a trip because if states continue to do whatever they want to do then you're going to have places like florida texas parts of you know idaho or whatever that do whatever they want trying to live a little bit more clean a little more communal and there's going to be places like new york and southern california that are going to go even more in the opposite direction to the point where it's going to be like you're visiting a different country when country. you travel to a different state like i went i went there well i was only there for a night basically like a month ago early november um but it just felt different man it just felt different than being like where i am now uh and my wife's actually going there late in <coughs> january for a few days and I'm curious to see what it's going to be like for her and, mm -hmm. and her ex experience. 
Um, but yeah, it's going to be like you're going to a different country, I feel like, eventually. And like going yeah. from state to state is different enough anyway, right? Like topography, geography, population and all that. But shit, man, it's going to be like going to a, a third world country to like Hunger Games, you know what I mean? Where the rich elite people do whatever they want and everyone else fights for scraps. It's yeah. crazy. Uh, we're, we're, I think we're supposed to get a new governor next year. And there's this dude running. His last name is, I think, Huffiness. And he has these big ass billboards all over Texas that are like, stop giving our money to illegals, no vaccine mandates. And like, like our governor now, Abbott, he's like, yeah, like I took the vaccine, but like, I don't want to mandate it. It's like, yeah, I wear yeah. a mask, but like, I'm not mandating it. And this dude running huffiness, he's like, <laughs> he doesn't say fuck, but he's like, Abbott's being weak. We need a stronger governor. And I'm like, oh shit, this dude's going to go like <laughs> hardcore. He wants to uh, get rid of property taxes and all this, all this shit. So I gotta read yeah. it up on him. Feels sounds, more like, li- very, libertarian, almost. I don't, dude. It it almost sounds like it. I gotta read up more on him though, and you know, to an extent, all politicians above like, you know, the main city ones. mayor are trash. But we'll see. We'll see. It'll be interesting. I don't know you're, what you're not uh, gonna vote for McConaughey. Isn't he running? Uh, no, I I'm not, I will never vote for someone who has been a Hollywood star. You can't. You can't trust them. They're compromised. They're fucking clones that you don't know. He's hilarious. He could be like special advisor. He can do like <laughs> publicity for the state on behalf of the governor, but you can't you can't trust someone that's been in Hollywood that long, right? Right? I mean, that's not rude to say. Come on. Yeah. That's what they do. They use the celebrities to get your votes. They did it with Schwarzenegger, they did it with Nixon, they did they're gonna do it with the fucking rock. Trump. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. So you can't fucking trust them. I can't. I won't. Um so I haven't been really paying attention to any conspiracy theories or anything like that. Um, did you, so you could catch me up on anything if you know of anything, but um, did you pay attention to the uh, Kyle Rittenhouse case at all? So like maybe at about half the capacity as I would have back when you and I were doing this shit every week yeah. and yeah. like just digging through every detail about everything we could. Um yeah, I, I I kept abreast of the news mostly through podcasts and mm-hmm. then what people would post. Um, did you did you you don't know, hear about any of it? I'm sure you know what happened and what the results. No, were. I was I was paying attention to that. I was watching this YouTube uh, channel, Ricada Law. It's this panel of lawyers, uh, this lawyer guy, and um, it was yeah, he had like a rotating panel between like anywhere between four to like 10 to 12 people just kind of rotating through just watch live streaming watching the case and it was interesting to see lawyers kind of going over the law and all of them said it was clearly self-defense they're like we don't know why this is even a case like this is so stupid for the state to even be doing this case but they would have like disagreements within different arguments they were live streaming eight hour plus a day you know so it was just interesting to see you know lawyers points of views on these legal matters and like i remember when the original when the kyle rittenhouse thing happened like i remember that that day i think we talked about it like yeah. shortly after and um yeah, it was an interesting, interesting time for sure. I remember going back and forth with Woods back in the back when that happened. Um, man, and speaking of those guys, I can't even I can't listen to those guys anymore, man. Yeah, like, talk about a 180 flip, dude. He used to be super cool and he used to be like, I do whatever I want. No one tells the kid what to do. Yeah. And now he's like, tell the kid what to do and I'll do it. <laughs> yeah it, it's Gosh. crazy man that whole that whole station i just uh it's really frustrating because they were they were spreading the uh the false narrative of the rogan horse dewormer thing too and then when it came out that that was false i didn't hear no backtracking statement no. on that they're still mm-hmm. just presenting that narrative like why would you not get vaccinated that whole thing and it's like yeah that whole station just really irritates me and it's it's what station kind of frustrating it, it was the sports station 97.3 the fan here in san diego mm-hmm. um and i would listen to it all the time because i enjoyed it they they had good camaraderie and i enjoyed their back and forth but then once politics hit and 
this whole pandemic thing happened, man, they just completely showed their true colors of things. And it, it was really kind of frustrating and irritating. And it's like, that's why I just had to step away from a lot of things. It's like, I'm just going to live my life. And, you know, I just keep my head down at work and just do my job to the best I can and just kind of interact with, with people when I can and when they want but for the most part like I won't talk to anybody unless I'm being talked to it I'll just kind of just do my own thing you know and it's just like it is yeah it is what it is I guess it 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 sucks though man because I feel like we I mean like we used to have a like a decent sized crew that would kind of basically would meet up like once a month for a while yeah and and it had kind of started to dissipate for sure but then COVID started and like, I don't even, I don't need, you're the only, you are literally the only one I talk to anymore. Like, yeah. well, that's not true. One of them, you know, Instagram every once in a while, but like three of them, four, of, like I couldn't even tell you last time I heard of them or talked to them or anything. Mm-hmm. And, and I, I remember in the beginning I had reached out and I was like, dude, like, let's do a bonfire. We'll hang out. Like, if you guys want to sit six feet apart, if I can ten yeah. feet apart, whatever. Like yeah. I, you know, the just yard trying was to big. accommodate. Yeah, just trying to accommodate, even though I fucking think it's dumb and stupid. You know, still I was trying because I just wanted to, like, you know, have human interaction. Peers, yeah, man. Like yeah. I wanted to just like, talk and do shit, yeah. and not one of them responded to it at all. Even yeah. you know, so like, okay, cool. Like you said, true colors and um. It sucks. It sucks, but also it's almost like a litmus test. You know, like I can never be friends with someone who's a hundred percent like double masked, fucking triple vaxxed. And you know, I there's no way. There's no yeah. way I couldn't. Yeah. I like so speaking of the vaccine thing, I it's really interesting because um I just heard like like I said, I don't really pay attention to too much anymore. Every once in a while I'll listen to some news on the radio when I'm driving and it's more of the conservative news. It's local conservative news. I was like, oh, I didn't even know this existed. <laughs> so that was interesting. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was like, holy shit, there's a different view. Um, but it's nice. still kind of annoying because it's very slanted in one way. Even if they say it's the truth, it's still slanted in one way for sure. Um, yeah. But it's refreshing to get a different point of view. But um, what? Um, so I was listening to something and, you know, they've been talking a lot about these boosters. And I forget which ones have the boot. Like probably the Pfizer has the booster and the Moderna has the booster, I think. Um, Johnson and Johnson doesn't have the booster, right? That's from my as far as I know. Yeah, so they don't have the booster, but now all of a sudden they're going after like Johnson and Johnson saying, Oh, there's been some some bad things with that one going on. And I just find it interesting whether agree, disagree with the vaccine, you know how we feel about it. But um, I just think it's interesting. The one that doesn't need a booster is the one that they're kind of going at in a more negative uh light you know what i mean they're like no you need the ones that need the boosters that that you'll need a booster every three months that you know you'll need it instead of this one that should have been i haven't heard any issues up until this point when all of a sudden these boosters have been more announced for these other two vaccines so i just thought that was interesting johnson johnson is also the one where you didn't need to go get a two-parter initially yeah, it was exactly. just a one, one and done yeah yeah right so that yeah that that is interesting um i have a family member who is a nurse i'm sure you know who that family member is but i don't want to blow them up right now but yeah. that's the one that they ended up getting and mm-hmm. then uh they actually lied to me about it for like a few months and i was mm. like whoa you know and even Did after pull- all of- they pulled the oath on you <laughs> yeah exactly and i like <laughs> it was a trip because the whole thing from like that person telling me uh to like being somewhat reconciled was like a month because i was fucking ready to like cut that person out yeah. like i was ready to be like all right done and yeah my wife had to talk me off the ledge because like i i go like zero to you are the guy I, from the oath that's so <laughs> funny. <Yeah. laughs> I was, I was, I was like fucking done. I was like, dude, if they lied but, about this, they're gonna lie about other shit. We can't fucking trust them. They got that graphene oxide in them. Like, I, you know what I mean? I was just like, you can't trust them anymore. 
You can't yeah. fucking trust. You can't trust how they think. You can't trust. Like, I don't know, man. I feel like one day they're going to be like, hey, turn your unvaccinated family members in for, you know, a Chili's gift card or whatever. And Krispy Kreme I, donut. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, okay, well, now I know I can't trust that person. And like that person, I don't even give 100%. Like, oh, no, I'm like, if you turn your family member in, you get two Krispy Kreme donuts per day. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And so, McDonald's will throw in something as well. Oh my God. Did you hear that they're going to like put stuff? McDonald's is going to put like pro get your vax on like their burger wrappers. Oh, no, no. Yeah. They're going to be like, oh, See, I just said that fries. because it's McDonald's, <laughs> but holy shit. Yeah. That's crazy. It's kind of, it, it's interesting though, because I feel like McDonald's is dying, right? Over the years, they have not had the success they had in the 90s, right? Mm -hmm. And like meat companies, milk companies, fucking like TV programming. I feel like they're all kind of like going down Declining, and struggling. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, they're all the ones that mob together to try and push vaccines. And I'm like, dude, there's at least, I'm going to say there's at least a third of Americans that are hardcore, like, no, not going to happen. Dude, you it's know? crazy. Like I saw this one video breaking down of oh I think it was Russell Brand. Um, he's interesting to watch. He but. is super smart. Yeah, super smart. But I was watching one of his videos and he broke down like had this little compilation of how many different Pfizer commercials there are. So we're just being inundated with it every day. If you're watching TV, listen to the radio, news, whatever, you're just constantly being in a day. Pfizer, Moderna, Pfizer, Pfizer. This is brought to you by Pfizer. It's like, what the fuck? And yeah, these are the ones in control of us right now. Like, it's pretty crazy. Right. If you're listening to a commercial and they say sponsored by Pfizer, then that yeah. means Pfizer has a say in what goes on the radio for that exactly. at least portion of the show or that show on the radio. Yeah. And I don't think people understand that. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's everywhere. It is. Back in the day, I want to say 2000, maybe 2010 timeframe, Saturday Night Live used to like joke about how Pfizer's like medicine would fuck you up. Like it would be like, you know, like all the, the side effects, but then they'd show the person who took the Pfizer medicine and they're like growing a tail or a fucking, you know, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And they would rag on how Pfizer was terrible. They won't do that now, but they used to. So even, even back then it was like, oh yeah, they're all over the place. They're fucking buying everybody off and their medicines are questionable. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. Yeah, it is. Um, but yeah, so what's been going on in the conspiracy theory world? Like what's what's been what's been happening? Like I said, I just completely like removed myself from everything and everybody got removed from YouTube. So everybody that I was watching, so it's like I don't even you Yeah, know, it's, it's a like, trip. Whatever. I've gone to Telegram. Uh actually Tinfoil Hat has a good Telegram, and then I'm in like this secret one for San Diegans that are against everything. <laughs> and uh, and then I'm in like another few, right? But like n nothing there is like censored. So it's just like, it's like me talking to you, but there's a fucking hundreds of us. Mm -hmm. So it's people just like, hey, did you see this? Hey, did you see that? Hey, what about this? Hey, let me, and people are like, hey, I, you know, my work is mandating the vaccine. What do I do? And then like 20 people are like, you can try this or you can say this or, and so like, at least it gives like a nice home base. Um, but that's, I'm, trying to be more over there and then i'll find stuff there and i'll post it on instagram because instagram is just a bunch of shit now yeah um, but the kyle rittenhouse thing was interesting i think now i think it was just obviously to distract and divide us um oh, especially for when sure. people still get the facts wrong man and it's like people think I, he killed black people you yeah still yeah. still even after the case, oh. even after all the evidence, people still think he went and hunted out black people. And yeah, he was there legally, like carrying yeah. a weapon, didn't right. cross state lines with it, has family living in that place. Yeah. Like he was videoed earlier cleaning up graffiti and, you know, things <laughs> like this. Like it's, it's just crazy, man, the narrative that the media will push and that people will just believe because they weren't watching the, the trial and weren't paying attention to things. And like you said, did a really good job about dividing people. That case was really um, it was a really I don't know, it was, it was a big one for sure. And it kind of 
determined a lot like where our justice system was or is at the time because there was a lot of trials going on the Chauvin one I don't know if you paid attention to that I didn't really pay attention to that but I heard he was found guilty um which so one the guy that was in the video or the guy that they took a mug shot of afterward oh yeah right which and, fucking changeling is yeah. guilty yeah um but this one the Rittenhouse one, um, I felt, you know, justice did it. The court did it right. Like, the jury did it right. It was clearly self-defense. He got no charges. And, um, yeah, it, it was a big one for sure. Yeah. I just remember people posting about it and putting, like, disgusted. How? What is wrong with America? I'm like, you motherfuckers don't know anything about it. And like, he killed a fucking aggressive pedophile. That's a win in my book. Two of them. Two of them. Two of them. See, I don't even have the facts right. Yeah. Like, two, I, I'm like, that's good enough for me. Like, yeah. I don't. You know what I mean? I don't. Doesn't doesn't matter. But I did find interesting. Somebody posted a video of the courthouse. Somebody's walking in through those, you know, infamous double doors of the courthouse, and like the foot of that person walking in disappears like into the ground and so they're like dude look that's a green screen and then i was like okay here we go now it's interesting a regular court case where the guy was obviously you know self-defense and eh, kind of boring right but we're green screening shit in now there we go that's fun so and that and then now he's like rittenhouse is on like shows and they're yeah. throwing him parts he's doing, the, like, me he's okay. doing the media run for sure like what was the dude's name that uh that proud boy who was like face to face with that native dude dancing on some stairs or whatever i don't think he was a proud boy um no but i don't think so i think you you got the facts wrong again <laughs> uh, you spent misinformation man i uh, thought I don't, what's his I don't, name i don't, I don't nick sandman or something like that i don't think he was a proud boy i That's think he was like a 16 year old kid sandman i think so yeah that sounds like a fake fucking name <laughs> And he's been like up. settling a bunch of lawsuits with all these uh, news corporations and stuff. But yeah, it seems like Rittenhouse right. might be gearing up to kind of do the same thing. He's just going on all these shows, kind of painting his own narrative, it seems like now, trying to clear his name. And uh, yeah, we'll see if he files any of these lawsuits against, uh, you know, the big one is, oh, are you going to sue Biden because he said you were a white supremacist and all this stuff? So well, it'll Biden be interesting would know. to see. Yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> I um, um, but I was thinking like I didn't hear fucking hide nor hair about Sandman really after that whole thing. But it looks like he's cleaning up on the other end. He's like settling lawsuits and shit. Yeah, Kyle Rittenhouse is all over the fucking place, and yeah. it's interesting how one went one direction and one went the other. You know what I mean? But now Sandman, well, Sandman is now over this last year, I want to say, has been doing a lot more interviews. Now that he has been settling, I think, I think he's gained more confidence and he, I've been seeing him pop up on a lot more news, like Fox news, obviously, and, um, just things like that. So, um, and he came out in support so of, of Rittenhouse and saying, oh yeah, he should, he should sue them too. So it's this interesting, weird, you know, thing, I got nothing but on, in, or on social media, nothing has popped up about him. Really? <laughs> basically since right after that all that stuff happened it's yeah. weird that the news is pulling them back in nothing online the n another well, fox will do anything to go after cnn you know and like those guys so yeah they're like oh this guy's going after them let's bring him on like they'll highlight anybody going after those guys right which is interesting too just it is fucking controlled up um not really can i think it's a conspiracy but did you hear about that armed fucking vehicle transporting cash in San Diego? And then yeah. something happened and there's cash all over the freeway. What do you I happened to that? not be working that day or else I probably would have been driving to a delivery in that area. Um, wow. It's, I don't know. Man. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Um, a mistake for sure. I don't know how I don't, that it seems a little so, crazy but i don't know i don't know because i know if you took the money like you could be facing charges but 
and then and then it makes it yeah but it makes it a lot easier because people were like on their phones videoing themselves like oh yeah i got this money like that kind of so it's like okay you're obviously guilty of this so i don't know i don't know it's an interesting thing what's your take on it so um my wife showed me and i like two seconds in i was like nah this is fucking fake like i don't know what it's a setup for i don't know what the motive is it's not fucking real i used to work at banks multiple different banks and those armored trucks they have like two people up front and one in the back sometimes like armed. yeah yeah you know like i think in the explanation of the story was just like oh you know they abandoned the car nah not how that fucking happens those dudes are on a time limit they're specifically meant to go like here 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 the cash is all pre-ordered a week in advance sometimes or more and it's all parted out and it's all packed together for each individual bank that they go and visit and that was from a different state it wasn't even a california armed vehicle Mm. transporting cash which is sketchy to me because i don't remember and actually i need to ask our friend edgar because he he did some security stuff for the some of the banks I worked for actually. Yeah. If he ever saw that, I never saw an out of plate state on a armed truck delivering us cash. That's and I never saw less yeah. than two people. And I have been told that there's an armed person in the back as well. So that's up to three people that just magically disappeared in a truck from out of state. And now all this cash is on the freeway. And in the videos that I saw, it was ones and twenties. There is much, Mm. much more than ones and 20s. And when a fucking Chase Bank, Bank of America, Mission Federal Credit Union, like if they're all ordering cash, you don't just order ones and 20s. Sure, Mm -hmm. those move a lot, but like you have people coming in needing to get 10 grand out. You need your hundreds. You need fives. You need fucking change. But it was only ones and 20s that I saw in the video. That's interesting, yeah. It was very, very fishy. And then like one of the people on the scene that was recording was is like some like semi instagram famous people with like i don't know hundred thousand followers or some shit like that she just happened to be there when this was happening you know like it just it all seemed like a sketchy setup i for sure wouldn't have taken the money but if i did i would have been able to get away with it because i wouldn't have used my hand i wouldn't have like put fingerprints on anything my face would have been covered i saw one person in videos covering their license plate that's the only smart person in all the videos that i saw you (laughs) know what i mean like they don't have a way to, to they don't have a way to trace it unless they're tracing each individual serial number of each individual bill, which I'm gonna say in a truckload of cash from my experience, that's impossible. And there's yeah. no need to do it. Yeah. If they lose a few hundred bucks, that's collateral damage. It's all insured anyway. It doesn't really matter. That's what you know, like uh, my bank got robbed. It doesn't matter. The money's insured. That it doesn't, it doesn't fucking matter. So mm-hmm. that was trippy. And I actually need I want to circle back and see if there's anything more about that but that one stood out as weird not necessarily Mm -hmm. conspiracy theory but something weird that happened in your neck of the woods yeah it was weird uh yeah i just i remember seeing it the the following day and like a couple news articles i think it was sent to me my mom sent it to me or something like that Mm -hmm. and um I was like, oh, good thing I wasn't working that day because that would have been a mess to deal with. <laughs> Probably right. would have been driving right in it, I swear. Drive down that area all the time. That's so, funny. I yeah. think you prepared. I think the whole thing was, I don't know. I don't want to label it a, a psyop and a false flag, but it was definitely not what they're saying, which is very strange. Yeah. Uh, that Dude, I haven't, I couldn't tell you about other newer conspiracy shit other than like the Ghislaine Maxwell trial that unlike the Kyle Rittenhouse is not televised and yeah because it's like, federal is, is that they what don't, it is they don't televise federal cases for whatever bullshit reason but it's really annoying it's but like, listening to those stuff. listening to those lawyers they explained it and they're like yeah they they even say it's fucking bullshit we should be like have full transparency with all court cases they they believe every court case should be like televised and have some sort of recording for for transparency for public access and things like that and they all say it's bullshit but they explain yeah federal thing has this right where they can choose to not have it be televised which is really infuriating for us yeah how convenient yeah exactly I was uh, I was li- I was listening to something and they were talking about how the like prosecution is like relatively newer 
newer people into law and like the defense is like these hard hitters that have been associated with sketchy cases and sketchy people in the past and they're like i don't know what they're setting up for but the defense is super like they're veterans to it and the prosecution is like relatively newer people it was it so i don't know it's interesting and then the one i think the one person i was getting information from who was there I think he got his feed cut. Like he was posting shit as it was happening. He was like in the trial, like sitting and watching. And I don't know what happened to his stuff, but it hasn't been, he hasn't been coming through lately. But other than that. For the Maxwell case? Yeah, this dude was uh, there. Like he was there. And he was live streaming it? He wasn't live streaming it. He would like, he would like give updates all the time. Like he said he saw Maxwell's sister walk into the courthouse. Mm. And he was like, Do you know who shit. it was? What the channel I was? I can't remember his name mm. or what he was. I could probably find it. Gotcha. I'll have to find it and catch up on that one. That would be a good just whole separate episode. But I mean, but nothing's going to happen, right? She's going to get off. Everything Dude, I'm be- feeling like people are being more sympathetic towards her now. Like they're like, oh, she's she's a hero for doing what she's doing now and like all this kind of stuff. It's really strange. But yeah, it makes it really difficult when we don't have that live recording of what's going on in the courtroom like we don't know exactly what's going on and all we're getting is the the transcripts after and it's usually like a day or so behind unless someone is there in the court like in the viewing so from my understanding like there's only a certain number of media allowed in the courtroom in the actual courtroom and then there's like a couple extra like overflow rooms where people can listen in and like watch um still in the courthouse yeah exactly and watch it that way and um so that's the only way you're getting this information if people are there watching it and then giving updates throughout the day or you know live streaming on youtube in the nighttime doing a recap of what's going on but other than that we're we're just getting transcripts like a day or so behind you know so pretty pretty frustrating for sure yeah, I mean, who knows if anything is even going to happen? Probably not. Yeah, honestly, I know it's ridiculous. I'm surprised she even was arrested. I'm like, the whole thing is just a storyline, you know? Yeah, definitely. But wow. uh, anyway, I'm gonna have to get going here. Got some. Uh, holiday shopping to do for my dad me and my brother are gonna meet up and go get my dad something so we'll figure that out and yeah and that's that's about it so uh, what do you got going on for the holidays um shooting down south to see the great grandparents take the baby to see the great grandparents uh, my grandpa's birthday's on christmas eve hey that's my, my mom's birthday, birthday. nice and then my grandma's birthday is on the 29th, so we're going to go back down for that. Christmas Day, we're just going to hang out here, and all of my family is here now, and my aunt's in town, so that'll be cool. Nice. Uh, um, chilling, taking some little bit of time off. I um, I don't think I've told you. I, I told you. I got uh, basically a house that I'm remodeling and trying to flip, so yeah, it's hard not to be there all the time doing shit, but I'm going to take a few days off. Nice. Yeah. Sounds good. Well, it was good talking to you. And um, yeah, I'll see how this kind of whole back end thing works and hopefully get it out there. Okay. Sounds good. Not All a lot right. of visual shows, but um, good to get back into it a little bit. Yep, exactly. Just good to catch up and just kind of go over an array of different things. And yeah, next time maybe we'll deep dive into a topic and get into it but uh yeah yeah, exactly but i thought this was good good you know jump back into it so and then we had to figure out the whole zoom thing anyway so i think i like it i think i like it yeah it should be good should work out all right man have a have a good evening and um have a happy holidays and everything and yeah we'll talk soon cool all right later peace